Hi, in this video, I'm going to be answering a question that I received from a viewer. This person's name is Lindsay, and the subject is worried about being unprepared for graduate school. I'm going to read the question in its entirety, and then I will do my best to answer the question. I have not read this question yet. I've only read the subject and the person's name. So again, I'll do my best. If you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Remember, every time you leave a comment, it helps other people too. And this email seems to be very, very well written. So I'm gonna go through it carefully and do my best. Good day. I've been watching your videos for quite some time and I was hoping that you might be able to provide me with some assistance. I received an offer for a master's in applied mathematics at, and I'll leave the school out, where I plan on opting for the thesis option, where I plan on working with the financial mathematics research group to prepare myself for a career in quantitative finance. My concern is that while I do really enjoy mathematics, I do not have an undergraduate degree in maths. I have a major in economics and a minor in mathematics. This program for which I received an offer is designed for people who do not have mathematics undergraduate degrees. While I've done four semesters of calculus, two of linear algebra, and an intro to ODEs, I'm worried about certain courses that I will be doing specifically real analysis and probability. To brush up on my probability and statistics, I've been working through mathematical statistics with applications by Wackerly after watching your review on it, but I'm worried about lacking the requisite mathematical maturity for these courses. I was hoping that you would be able to direct me towards some resources that I could use to prepare myself for the program. I'm sure that there will be a heavy focus on probability, which I am definitely weak on as all of the statistics courses I've taken in undergrad have been econometrics, econometrics, I think that's how you say it. <laughs> I can't say it, not pure stats. Thank you in advance, Mr. Lindsay, oh, Mr. And then, she, and then she says her name. Okay, um, so my advice, a uh, couple things. So when I saw the title of this email, I immediately grabbed a book because I thought this is gonna be a fun book that will make you excited about being prepared. So this book is called All the Mathematics You Missed, but you need to know for graduate school. So this book is not particularly on statistics or probability, but it has a lot, right? There's a lot of math in this book. It's not going to teach you everything, but it'll open your mind to all the things out there. So it's worth getting if you want. I think it's a fun book. This is the kind of book that you can like lay in bed at night and read it. And it just kind of gives you some nice motivation. Uh, I'll try to leave a link in the description. Thomas Garrity is a great mathematician, a great teacher, a great person, a great author, fantastic book. So fun book that will give you some motivation and will show you everything that's out there. I'll leave a link in the description. The second book you should get, I didn't grab it before this video because I didn't know you were talking about statistics until now, um, is the book by Ross, okay? Just look up Ross Probability. It's a pretty good book. Having said that, it's also pretty terse and Honestly, I don't think there's an easy solution other than the book you have by Wackerly, which hopefully you have a solutions manual for, and the book by Ross. Those two books and a lot of hard work and effort and, you know, as my old teacher used to say, banging your head against the wall will help you grind through uh, the probability that you're going to need to know. The good news, and this is something that you might not realize, is that you're working on it now, right? You're not even in graduate school yet and you're already preparing for graduate school. I think that is awesome and I think you're gonna do great because of that. So keep working through that book by Wackerly. If you don't have the solutions manual, get it. I know it's just a standard textbook. I mean, it really is. So is the book by Ross. These are just standard everyday statistics books that are definitely more rigorous than the stats books you probably used in your classes. So keep working through those. Um, as far as maturity, if you can pick up a book on proof writing, that would help. But again, this is not really focused on stats, but it will help your maturity. There's a free book online called The Book of Proof by Richard Hammack. Uh, you can just Google it. And if I remember, I'll leave a link in the description. It's free, or you can buy a physical copy on Amazon. They have both hardcover and softcover. And that's a great book for learning to write proofs. Not the perfect book, but it's free. And again, that's the kind of book that'll kind of just give you some inspiration and motivation. You'll learn how to write like little simple proofs, which you can translate later to the proof writing that you see in the books by Ross and by Wackerly. So it will help you. As far as courses, I do have courses not specifically on proof writing and probability. Uh, 
on Udemy. I'll leave links in the description. If you scroll down, you'll see them. I've got one on set theory, one on functions, an advanced calculus, and an abstract algebra course. Those four courses uh, focus on proof writing, which again will help your maturity. So for maturity, I would recommend the book by Hammock and those courses for statistics, the Wackerly book, as well as the solutions manual and the Ross book. For inspiration, all the mathematics you missed. If anyone has any advice for Lindsay, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I think you're going to do great, Lindsay, especially because you're preparing ahead. Good luck.